Hello guys, I stumbled across this article today that I immediately wanted to share with you guys and it involves the evolutionary process of a new species of animal. And it's something, you know, that is extremely fascinating. And that is why, again, I wanted to share it with you guys. So let me know what you guys think in the comment section down below at the end of this video. Now this article that I have in my possession comes from Raw Story. And it starts off by saying a new species combining wolves, coyotes, and dogs is evolving before scientists' eyes in the eastern United States. Wolves faced with a diminishing number of potential mates are lowering their standards and mating with other similar species, reported the economist. The interbreeding began up to 200 years ago as European settlers pushed into southern Ontario and cleared the animal's habitat for farming and killed a large number of the wolves that lived there. That also allowed coyotes to spread from the prairies and the white farmers brought dogs into the region. Over time, wolves began mating with their new genetically similar neighbors. The resulting offspring, which has been called the eastern coyote or, to some, the coy wolf, now number in the millions, according to researchers at North Carolina State University. Interspecies bred animals are typically less vigorous than their parents, the economist reported, if the offspring survive at all. That's not the case at all with the wolf-coyote-dog hybrid, which has developed into a sum greater than the whole of its parts. At about 55 pounds, the hybrid animal is about twice as heavy as a standard coyote, and its large jaws, faster legs, and muscular body allow it to take down small deer and even hunt moose in packs and the animal is skilled at hunting in both open terrain and a dense woodland. An analysis of 437 hybrid animals found that coyote DNA dominates its genetic makeup with about one-tenth of its DNA from dogs, usually larger dogs such as the Doberman Pinschers and German Shepherds, and a quarter from wolves. The animal's cry starts out as a deep-pitched wolf howl that morphs into higher-pitched yipping, like a coyote. Its dog DNA may carry an additional advantage. Some scientists think the hybrid animal is able to adapt to city life, which neither coyotes or wolves have managed to do on their own because its dog ancestry allows it to tolerate people and noise. Like I said, guys, very interesting story that I immediately wanted to share with you guys. You know, I think this is fascinating. I really love the evolutionary process and what it has to offer. You know, and this is another prime example of the evolutionary process at hand. It's fascinating. And I only have one more thing to say about this. Christians, eat your heart out. <laughs> Anyway, guys, feel free to share this video with anyone that might be interested, whether it be on Facebook, Google+, Tumblr, Reddit, Yahoo, or wherever you guys hang out. So till next time, the Quiet Atheist is out. And remember, if you can't be good, be good at it. Most of all, thank you all for watching, and I will see you next video.